Hi students. Today we are going to study about prime numbers and composite numbers. Before that, let's recall natural numbers. We know that natural numbers are counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And we are going to divide that natural numbers into two prime and composite numbers. With the help of some examples, I am going to explain both. Let's start with prime numbers. I am going to take the number 2. We know that 1, 2 are 2. That means in 1 stable and 2 stable only we can find out 2. Or 2 has only 2 factors. Next, the number 3. 1 3's are 3. That means in 1 stable and 3 stable only we can find out 3. But take 4. 1 4's are 4 and 2 2's are 4. That means in 1 stable, 2 stable and 4 stable we can find out 4. Or 4 has 3 factors 1, 2 and 4. The numbers other than 1 whose only factors are 1 and the number itself are called prime numbers. That means 2 and 3 are prime numbers and 4 is not a prime number. Take the number 5. 5 has only 2 factors 1 and 5. And 6 1, 6 are 6 and 2, 3 are 6. That means in 1 stable, 2 stable, 3 stable and 6 stable we can find out 6. So 6 is not a prime number. Take 7. 1, 7 are 7. That means 1 and 7 are the two factors of 7. So 7 is a prime number. So, prime numbers have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. are prime numbers because they have only two factors, 1 and that number. Or, composite numbers have more than two factors. 4 is a composite number, 6 is a composite number, 8 is a composite number, 9 is a composite number because 1 9 are 9 and 3 3 are 9. In 1's, 3's and 9's table we can find out 9. So 9 is a composite number. 10, 1 10's are 10, 2 5's are 10. In 1's, 2's, 5's and 10's table we can find out 10. So, 10 is a composite number. Next, we are going to find out the prime numbers between 1 and 100. Here, I made a table consists of the numbers from 1 to 100. And here, what we are going to do means we are going to cross out all the composite numbers and we are going to circle all the prime numbers and one has, the number 1 has only one factor. So, it is neither a prime nor a composite. 1 has only one factor. So, we have to cross out 1 because it is not a prime number. We are going to find out the prime numbers only. And 2 is a prime number. So, we have to circle 2. And all the multiples of 2 are composite numbers. So, we are going to cross out all the multiples of 2. Or that means all even numbers except 2. This is the easiest method. Now itself almost half of the numbers are we have crossed out. Next, 3 is also a prime number because 3 has only 2 factors. I will take 5 first. 5 is a prime number. 1, 5 are 5. And all the multiples of 5 are composite numbers. Next, 3 is a prime number and all the multiples of 3 are composite numbers. So, I am going to cross out all the multiples of 3. Some multiples are of 3 I have already crossed out. And 
Remaining numbers I have crossed out. Next, 7 is a prime number. So, we have to circle 7 and cross out all the multiples of 7. Next, 11 is a prime number. 13 is a prime number. 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97 are prime numbers. Here it is very useful. Uh, it is very easy also. We have to cross out all the multiples. And we have to circle the prime numbers. One is neither a prime nor a composite. So one also we have to cross out. And this is very useful in higher classes also. So we must buy out all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. And from this we have learned... 1 is neither a prime nor a composite. 2 is the smallest prime number and all the multiples of 2 are composite numbers. 2 is only even prime number. 3 is the smallest odd prime number and 4 is the smallest composite number. And there are 25 prime numbers between 1 and 100. It is very useful in higher classes. So we must study these all prime numbers between 1 and 100. Hope you would have understand the concept. Thank you.